Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is negative 3, 3 pro of t, and this equals 3. We are solving for the value of t that satisfies this equation. So let's start by copying out this negative 3. So we have negative 3 equals, we can express it as negative 1 and 3. So we are going to replace this negative 3 here with negative 1 times 3. We have negative 1 times 3 raised to the power of t, and this equals 3. Now, we can consider this other identity. If you have a times b raised to the power of c equals a power c times b power c, we apply this right here. We have negative 1 power t times 3 power t, and this equals 3. So what we are going to do will be to replace this negative one here with another identity because we need to eliminate it. Now consider this Euler's identity. If you have e power i times pi, then plus one is equal to zero. So what we can do will be to move this positive one over here. We have e power i times pi equals negative one, meaning that negative 1 equals e power i times pi. So we replace this negative 1 with this e power i times pi. So we are going to have e power i times pi raised to the power of t times 3 to the power of t equals 3. So right now, consider this identity if you have e power n raised to the power of m, this equals a power n times m. So we multiply this exponent out. We are simply going to have e power i times pi times t times 3 to the power of t equals 3. So what we are having is this times this and this equals this. So what we need to do will be to consider the natural log. I take natural log of e power i times pi times t times 3 to the power of t equals natural log of 3. Now, let's consider this property. If you have natural log of a times b, this equals natural log of a plus natural log of b. So we apply this property right here. This is my A and this is my B. So what I'm going to get at the end will simply be natural log of E power I times pi times T plus natural log of three power T equals natural log of three. So right now, if you have natural log of a power b, this equals b times natural log of a. So we apply this same property right here. That means the i pi t will come behind this natural log. So we are going to have i pi t times natural log of e. Plus we apply the same property here e times natural log of 3 equals natural log of 3. So right now, natural log of e is 1. So we have i times pi times t times 1 plus this. We have t times natural log of 3 equals natural log of 3. So if you multiply this out, you have i pi times t plus t times natural log of 3 equals natural log of 3. So right now, there is t here, there is t here. We can factor out the, the t. I have t times this divided by t, that is i times pi plus this divided by t. I have natural log of 3 equals natural log of 3. So right now, I have t here, can divide this by 
i times pi plus natural log of 3. I divide this by i times pi plus natural log of 3. So this eliminate this. And what we are going to have will be t equals natural log of 3 divided by i times pi plus natural log of 3. So this is our solution based on this particular method. Now let's consider this other method of solving this particular problem. We have negative 3 raised to the power of t equals 3. Then we consider this identity again. We are going to replace this negative 3 with negative 1 times 3. I have negative 1 times 3 is to the power of t and this equals 3. Now let's consider these complex laws. If you have square root of negative 1, this equals i, that is the major number i. If you take the squares of both of these, this cancel this, I have negative 1 equals i power 2. So that means negative 1 here equals i power 2. I'm going to have i power 2 times 3 raised to the power of t equals 3. So right here, right now, what we can do is to make use of log. I have log of i power 2 times 3 raised to the power of t equals log 3. So what happens here is that if you have log a power b, this equals b times log a. So the t will come behind the log. That means you are going to have t times log i power 2 times 3 equals log 3. So right here, right now, if you have this, we need to consider this logarithm identity log a times b equals log a plus log b. I apply this property right here. So I'm simply going to have t times log this is i power 2. This is my a. This is my b. So I can easily put this t in bracket. So what I can do right now is the t needs to cover everything. t times log i power 2 plus log 3. So that everything will multiply the t. And this equals log 3. So right now, we are solving for t. To isolate this t, I prefer this by log i power 2 plus log 3 and I also divide this by log i power 2 plus log 3. This cancel this. So right now I'm going to have t equals log 3 divided by log i power 2 plus log 3. Now don't forget the fact that if you have log a power b, this equals b times log a. So applying that here, you are simply going to have t equals log 3 divided by 2 times log i plus log 3. So in two of these methods, we have answers that are quite very similar. This is in respect to logarithm, while this is in respect to natural log. So that's just it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you and see you again.